All right, this is the notes for section 10.4, Volumes of Pyramids and Cones. If you haven't done so already, make sure you pause the video and read the section before continuing on. So um, we've established that the volume of prisms and cylinders is the volume is equal to the base times the height. We're going to contend, and, and when they go through in the reading, they kind of prove this, but that the volume of pyramids and cones will always be equal to one-third a prism or a cylinder that has the same base and the same height. In other words, the volume of a pyramid or a cone will be equal to one-third the base times the height. Or you can another way you can write that and think about it is the volume will be equal to the base area times the height divided by 3. Those two things mean exactly the same thing. All right, before continuing on, you might want to reread guided example number 1 on page 618. Uh, so in this example, it says a regular square pyramid A is 30 inches tall, and its base has an area of 841 square inches. A regular square pyramid B is 45 inches tall, and the side of its base is 20 type 22.5 inches. Find the volume of each. So let's do that. So if I if I look at uh, A first of all, I know that since it's a a pyramid the volume is going to be equal to one-third the base times the height. One-third, that is. Okay. And if the base area is given to us, and that's 841 square inches, and we're also given the height, which is equal to 30 inches, and we want to find that volume. So the volume is equal to one-third times the base, which is 841, times the height, which is 30. Okay. Now we can go to our calculator to, to figure that out. If we do that, 1 third times 841 times 30 gives us 8,410. And then let's not forget our units, 8,410. And since we're talking about inches squared times inches, it would be inches cubed for our units. So that would be part A, or for, for uh, figure A. For figure B, same idea. I'm finding the volume of a square pyramid. So the volume is equal to one third the area of the base times the height. We're given that the the um, the, the height of this is 45, and we're talking about inches again. And the area of the base, they didn't give us the area of the base, but they said the side length is 22.5. And since I know it's a regular square pyramid, I know the base is a square. Therefore, the area of, the, of that square is going to be S squared, which is the length of its side. So I have 22.5 squared will give me the area of that base. If I do that on my calculator, you can see I get uh, 506.25 for the area of the base. So I write that down here. So now I'm going to find that volume by going ahead and multiplying those together. The volume is equal to one third times the base, which is 506.25 times the height, which is 45. So I'm going to do that on my calculator now. And as you can see, if I do that, if I multiply those all together, don't forget to multiply by the one third you get 7,593.75. And when we write that down, let's not forget that we want to include our cubic units on that as well. Okay? So we've found the volume of those two prisms, or, uh, excuse me, pyramids. All right, before doing example two here, you might want to reread example two in your book on page 618. Uh, it says, if a cone has a height of 7 inches and a volume of 48 cubic inches, what is the radius of its base? Well, let's look at that. I know that the, the volume of a cone is equal to one-third the area of its base times its height. Okay. Well, we know that the height is 7. We know that the volume 
is 48. Okay, and this is in inches and cubic inches. Now, what we want to do is we want to find the radius. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about my base area. My base area is going to be equal to, uh, because it's a cone, it's a circle, so it's going to be pi r squared. So I'm going to plug that in for my base, and I'm going to end up solving for r. So I want to plug this stuff in to this equation and solve for r. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it over here. So volume is equal to 1 third times pi r squared times uh, 48, or excuse me, the height, which is 7. And then the volume, instead of putting a V here, I actually should um, plug in the va actual value of that volume, which is 48. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to solve that for R. So it, it, I can simplify this, this right-hand side a little bit and say that this is 48 equals, well, 1 third times 7 is 7 thirds pi R squared. And then to get rid of the 7 thirds, so this is all multiplication there, so I have 7 thirds here, I can multiply by 3 sevenths on both sides. Okay, So this cancels with this. And on my calculator, I'm going to do that 3 sevenths times 48. Now I'm going to leave that as an exact answer, which is 144 over 7 equals pi r squared. And now to get ri now I need to get rid of the pi, so I'm going to divide by pi on both sides. Dividing by pi is like putting it on bottom. So what I'm left for with is that r squared is equal to 144 over 7 pi. And now I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Okay. And I'm going to get an approximation at this time as well. So right now I'm going to plug that into my calculator and get an approximation to that. And if you could do and if you do that, you can see we get about 2.56. So that's what we'll use for our value of our radius. So that would be about we should probably put my approximately there, approximately 2.56 inches for our answer. <laughs>
it's going to be equal to 3.4 squared times pi times 7.1. Okay. So let's go to our calculator to figure out what that value is. And we say, see that this, it's uh, 257.849. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to write that down, 257.849. And that would be in cubic unit, or cubic inches in this case. So now I want to find the volume of the smaller cone which is also the area of its base times the height. Well, the base of the smaller cone is also pi r squared. However, now the radius is 2.5, so that's going to be 2.5 squared times pi. And the height of my smaller cone is just the 4.6 inches. So now I'm going to find the volume of that smaller cone, which is going to be 2.5 squared times pi times the height, which is 4.6. So the volu volume of the smaller cone, now I'm going to go to my calculator to get that, which is 90.3208. Okay, so we're going to write that also in cubic inches. So now to find the volume that I'm looking for, I have to take the difference between those two values. So I'm going to take the value, the larger one, 257.849, minus the value of the smaller one, which is 90.3208. And if I do that, um, we can go ahead and subtract that on our calculator to find that value. Now, if we want to get a more precise uh, value there. If you just copy and paste those the numbers that we got previously, it will, the calculator will automatically give you a little bit more precise value to work with. And then if I go ahead and hit enter on that, it looks like we have about 167, if we're going to round it in the nearest tenth, about 167.5. Therefore, the volume would be about 167.5 cubic inches. Thank you.